to my channel. Today we have a plus specific haul. So for those of you that are on the spectrum from, I think it's like 12, 14 and up. Um, I used to order almost exclusively plus size brands, but my body has shifted and all of our bodies shift and I don't know. I'm okay personally with shopping at stores that are not as inclusive and are inclusive. I always like to include inclusive options if I'm doing roundups and stuff, but I personally do shop at Zara, I do shop at Revolve, I do, like, I kind of don't look at sizes and I see what fits me and it is. It's really disappointing when a brand doesn't. Unfortunately, we don't currently live in a world where every store carries every size and some stores are doing a great job of that, like Old Navy, I love that they're carrying all sizes in stores now. Um, and there are other brands that are doing a great job of being more inclusive, but sadly, we live in a world that isn't quite there yet. All that to say, if you do find yourself wearing a size 12 and up and you are actually one of the brands today is Reb Dolls and I think they do from like an extra small or like a zero X or no it's extra small I need to verify all the way up to like a three or four X so that brand is like ex inclusive on both sizes whereas the other brand um, that I'm trying on today is fashion to figure and they only do uh, plus sizes so they do from a zero X to I want to say a three or four X uh, I need to double check the sizing. I can put it below, sorry. But uh, yeah, so this is going to be a little bit um, more on catering to the curvier plus size end of the spectrum, just as an FYI. And if you're new here, I run the gamut of all videos. I do Zara hauls, which obviously is non-inclusive sizing. I do um, Walmart and Amazon. So I do high, low. I do brands that are sustainable and brands that are more accessible. So I try to run the gamut for everyone. So if this isn't for you, stay tuned. There probably will be something else for you. So if you are new here and you do end up liking this video, it would mean the world if you stuck around. Subscribe, hit that little bell so you never miss a video. If you're a returning BFF, thank you so much for being here. So much fun with you guys every week. And thank you so much for the warm reception to my video um, earlier this week that wasn't along the lines of my normal videos. It was just like a talking heart to heart. Um, if you missed that video, it's like seven ways how I learned to love myself. And if you liked that video, it seemed like several of you did, please comment and let me know if you want, what topics you want to talk about next, because that's the stuff that I get really excited about. That's what I talk to my friends about day in and day out. So if you guys want to see more of that stuff, that would make me so happy and I'd love to do it. So anyway, let's get into today's haul. I've got just a few outfits to try on for you. They're kind of like spring summer transition vibes. I don't know if you're like me, but I am ready for spring and summer. It's been really cold here in LA the last couple days, but before that we had like a heat wave and I was convinced it was summer already, even though it's February. Okay, so this is the first look. So the first thing I'm doing is my friend Chastity Garner is like a beautiful, amazing powerhouse of a woman. You can follow her on Instagram at Garner Style. She did a collab with Fashion to Figure and I literally ordered it the second it came out. And I got this two piece set. I actually just shot this yesterday. I took some photos that were like incredible. Um, so I got the bottoms in a one and I got the top in I think a one or a zero. It's a zero. So I tried this on yesterday so I know but I'm gonna try it on for you guys. But I do wish I would have sized down to a zero. The thing I find with plus brands is I can often wear the smallest size but the cut sometimes is a little too big. So it just depends on the brand. But let's just get this on, I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, it's on and I love it. I shot this yesterday, like I said. I think this is so sexy for like a pool party or a cover up or something like that. Uh, if you had like a strapless swimsuit, this would be so cute. But okay, so I'm wearing the top in a 1X, which I think fits perfectly, um, but I'm wearing, I mean in a 0X, but I'm wearing the bottoms in a 1X. I just got nervous because like, as I said, I've, I think I've gained weight lately and so everything seems to be fitting a little too snug. So I've been like panic ordering everything a size or two bigger and I'm finding that it's always like really hit or miss. So I, this is actually, I think too big. I feel like I would want this in a size smaller. Um, so I could either get it tailored or order a size smaller. I'm gonna see, cause I know like one of the pieces I'm about to try on, I think already sold out. So if anyone does do returns, you can keep watching the site cause sometimes they'll re-add it. Anyway, I just think this is so pretty, so like flowy and elegant and stay tuned on my Instagram. I'll show photos of like how I styled it and me wearing it out. Oh my, I just love it. I think it's so beautiful and it looks just so elegant and expensive. It feels very like cult Gaia, plus size cult Gaia vibe. So again, 0x, 1x, if you are like a 14, like between like a 12 and a 14, I would definitely do 0x. Um, if you are like a 12 or have like smaller hips, you could probably even get it tailored if you're in love with it just a little or like pin it. But anyway, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I also for tall girls, like the length is unbeatable. Like it's so rare for me that I get something that's long enough for me. And it's like, yee, so exciting. Cause I feel like then I can wear heels. And secondly, 
I just think things look more expensive when they like go to the ground, whether it's like super wide leg jeans or dresses, and I never get that experience. So anyway, uh, I will link this one below, but this is fashion to figure. Emily and I have very different takes on this look. I was like, this is so cute. It's so like Allie from The Notebook, like little 1940s girl running around to the fair. And she's like, yeah, it kind of looks like Beetlejuice's girlfriend. <laughs> I, first thought, I first thought she meant Lydia, but she means no. This is the female cute equivalent of Beetlejuice and Sailor Moon's love child. <laughs> I love it and I don't even care. These shorts are so fun. Like she gets the cut of like a curvy body because she knows to snatch in the waist here and then this like little plume, like my least favorite part about jean shorts and stuff is like the way they cut around my thighs and I feel like many of us probably feel that way after all my million videos about shorts last year and I'm not ready to do those again so don't be asking, not for a few more months anyway, okay, I'm not ready. That was traumatizing, but this is so cute. Look how cute the back is. This is just so fun. I'm pretty sure this set is still available. And if you are doing any kind of little beach vacay or something, like this is just such a vibe. And it has a little suit jacket that goes with it. Again, head to my Instagram if you wanna see me wearing these and like how I style them because I always end up like usually posting the stuff from these either in stories or usually in like a feed post. But <laughs> Emily hates it so much she just barfed in the camera. <laughs> It is cute, it's very, very cute. Um, I'm wearing a 1X on the bottom. Again, like, they're kind of roomy, but I thought that's the vibe. Like, they, they feel like they fit how they're supposed to fit. The top, I think I'm wearing a 0X and a 0X. Also, obviously, this set, this with this and jeans would be so cute. This would be so cute with the top and jeans. Like, there's a bunch of different ways you can style it if you didn't want to do all three, but I commit to a look, friends. I commit to a look. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I like would spun this dress from gold myself to where I silkworm. I love it. It's my absolute favorite. This is like so my style. Like I love like vintage style, like caftans and like old Hollywood vibe stuff. So when I saw this, I like jumped on it and I think it sold out and I'm so sorry, but keep your eyes peeled because I bet people who it doesn't fit like in a couple months might posh market or something. I won't be, I'm sorry, but uh, people might be returning to the site or they might restock. You just never know. So keep watching because that's happened to me before where I haven't gotten something from Fashion to Figure and then I have gotten it. But I'm still going to show you and rub in your face. I'm sorry. But it's so good. The sleeves like come to a point. Here. It's just a perfect caftan, which in essence, I'm pretty sure it's just like two sides of fabric sewn together. But the way this one skims the bod, like I would wear this. I did. So last weekend in San Diego, I wore this as a swim cover up. I'll put a picture of that. And then um, I, but I would totally wear it with like my like skims bodysuit underneath as just like an outfit for something. I just think it's so beautiful and elegant and I love it so much. I'm wearing a zero X. You win some, you lose some. Listen, okay. Uh, when I saw this online, I had a vision for it. Okay. But I also think it was styled differently than it looks on my body. So I ended up getting, I think a one X in both. I definitely should have gotten zero X. Um, the bottom is fine. It's just the sweater. It's just way too big. And I think it's like boxy and it doesn't, it's not a vibe. However, I don't know. I do think it's still so cute and I could totally like see it being a thing, but I feel like this just needs to be like more cropped and snug and small. And I thought that this was a little shorter. So I had a vibe for it and I know that I could style it in a way that I like it, but I just don't, I don't think that I'm showing you it right now in a good way. But anyway, I'm wearing a 1X in the top and a 1X in the bottom. So I do think that this sweater skirt is so cute. And this would be great with like a white button up with like a little black crop jacket or something like that. Um, but I would order down in the top. I was trying to figure out what my sizing would be with this brand because I haven't worn it in a really long time. But look at the measurement chart. I thought that I would be a 1X, but I think I'm still trying to figure out what my sizing is between plus and straight size stuff. I find that when I wear plus stuff, I usually have to size down because of the way that it's cut. But um, yeah, so this is this. I don't love the fit, but I do think it's fun and it has potential. And I thought I'd show you guys anyway. This is like, I feel like I'm in the mask, right? I feel like I am the mask. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it though. So these fit really well. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I recently ordered a pink suit from another brand and it was like a disaster that I didn't even show you guys. But these look great. I love the way they fit. I think this is a 0X. Okay, Zero so 1X. They look so good. They're wide leg. I'll show you what the butt looks like. Here. Um, I really, really like these a lot. I just think they look so, so good. Oh my god. I finally think I found like the pink pants. <laughs> so here's the... Uh, blazer 
and I think it's also really cute. It's super oversized. I think I got this in a 1X too, and I definitely probably could have done a 0X if I wanted it to be, but I think the vibe is kind of oversized. What I like about it is when I button it completely, yeah, I guess it is. Like I could have gotten one size smaller and it would have buttoned a little tighter, but I kind of like the oversized look. I think it's like effortless and cool. And I think that you could also wear this like this with like biker shorts and maybe even belted or something and it would be like a blazer dress. Overall, I just think this looks like chic fashion girl suit and it's like just the fit is actually really on point. Obviously I need to steam it, but like, let me live. So again, Rev Dolls, 1X, 1X, highly recommend. All right, this is also from Rev Dolls. I saw this like camel dress and I thought that it could be very sexy. I like what it does on the butt, but again, I ordered a 1X because I don't think I'm understanding my sizing. And I think that this is a little bit too big because um, I think that that's what makes it look a little sloppy is because of all the extra room. So I think if it was like really tight and snatched like this, that it would look a lot more put together. Don't you think? It's just like a little too big. And I don't want it to be, but this is the truth. But I'll show you the side, the back. If you ordered like true to your size or a size down, my measurements are below. And again, this is a 1X. I do think it could be so like beautiful and sexy on the right with the right fit. I just don't think this is quite hitting that for me. Um, but I, I love the color. It is loud, we noticed, when we move. But I don't know, guys. What do we think? What do we think? I think it's a no. I'm bummed, I'm bummed because I don't care. Everything was worth that pink suit. When I steam that guy and style it, I just know. I have a vision for it, okay? It involves accessories. It's gonna be great. But anyway, um, I think that this is probably a size too big. So anyway, I would say that Rev Dolls order uh, runs a little bit big. The pants fit perfectly, but other than that, everything was just a little bit too big. So thought that I would just let you guys know if you are planning to order from them, I'm gonna put those links below and everything else will be linked below. Let me know like what you guys want to see next. I love taking requests. So I know like I've been hearing from you guys that you want to see free people, that you want to see, I don't even remember what else. So just comment below and let me know if you want more plus stuff or more straight size stuff. I think I'm right between. So I don't know, I'll try my best. Um, and I also try to find inclusive sizing and I also do shopping roundups. I don't know if you guys knew this, but over on my Instagram, I do shopping roundups every week. So like this week I did like my favorite Amazon essentials. I did, um, like the video that I did for you guys about the Valentine's trials, but I do that all the time over there. And so they're really easy shoppable roundups. This week I also did like get the look and it was like blazers and bustiers as a combo. And I rounded up a bunch there of all different sizes, all different price points. So follow me uh, over there or on my LTK if you want more like shopping tips, I guess. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, let me know what you guys wanna see. If you are new here and you end up liking this video and you wanna stick around, that would mean the world again if you would subscribe. But I'd also love to know how you found my channel if you're new, so, or if you are new, like please just say hi below. It makes my day when I read you guys' comments. Um, and then head over to Instagram, slide in my DMs, say hello. I've been getting some really beautiful messages from you guys and getting to have some cool conversations there, that's fun. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.